All right, so now I'm going to have my wife do some. I take full advantage of him being my workout partner. And being a trainer helps. All right. It also helps to keep your arms a little straighter when you bring the weight back. Oh, and, you know, that brings up a great point. So I'm going to have my hands down here just to help spot her for just in case. So obviously she doesn't need any spot with, with this weight. She's doing good. But you'll notice, maybe not to the camera view, but she never brings the arms to lock out. Never keep them straight. Well, never in the exercises have them locked. Unless you're doing stiff like a deadlift, but that's pretty stupid. We do RDLs instead. But that's a different segment. Come on, baby! Drive those things up! Nice. Get nice and strong. Yeah! Yeah, baby! Allison's arms, here I come. You always gotta have a mental image or a mental picture to push you through. Keep going. Beautiful. Alright, I'm gonna try this. Alright. Try it first time. Alright. Bring up the knees. <laughs> that sucks. Nice. No, that sucked. <laughs> you know, when you do it, you wanna have you wanna have nice strong arms that come down so it's just the shoulders and the biceps that take the work. You don't wanna just set them up because that's uh, too much like, like work. And that's the key. You know, no matter what weight you're using, when I use my heavy weights versus her heavy weights, you just want to have nice, strong, so, solid arms when, when you do that. So that's the key to get them up, get them down. Make sure it's all rocked back and everything just locks into place at the 90 degrees and you just take the push on up. 